Hi everyone, in this lecture we would like to discuss the uh, meaning of the fault clearing time and its importance. So let's start by discussing what is the meaning of the fault clearing time. The fault clearing time is the time between the instant of fault occurrence and the instant of final arc uh, extinction or final arc interruption inside the circuit breaker. So the fault clearing time, it is the time of clearing the uh, fault. So we have at the first instant the uh, fault occurrence, the instant at which the fault occurred. Then after a certain amount of time, this time is the amount relay time. The relay time or the time taken by the relay to operate. For example, if it is a mechanical relay, then the time at which it takes to close its contacts. So it is taking a lot of time or some time called the relay time. Then we will have another time of the circuit breaker when the circuit breaker trips the circuit or opens the circuit. And including the circuit breaker time, we have inside the circuit breaker the arc interruption. So remember that we said that the, uh, for example, here we have our uh, circuit breaker like this. So when a fault occur, the relay will sense or the current transformer will step down the current for the relay. Then the relay will, uh, when the current exceeds the big up value for the relay, the relay will send a signal to the uh, circuit breaker to operate. So when the circuit operates, the contact here starts to move away. So it becomes like this. Okay, like this. Going away from the uh, other uh, line. So what happens is that an arc would be formed between this air gap. So in order to uh, uh, interrupt this arc, we have inside the circuit breaker different uh, methods of arc interruptions. When we discuss the circuit breakers in another lecture, we will have the different types of it, like oil, air circuit breaker, uh, the air where we use air to uh, uh, interrupt this arc, or the oil itself. It can be forced oil or it can be natural oil. And we have different methods of uh, arc interruptions. So anyway, when we interrupt this arc after the end of this arc, then this time is called the circuit breaker time. So the fault clearing time is the sum of the uh, relay time, the time taken by the relay, plus the circuit breaker time. So this is called the fault clearing time. The relay time is the time from the fault instant or the fault occurrence instant to the closing of the relay contacts. Also, the breaker time is the closing of the relay contact, starting from the closing of the relay contact to the final arc extinction inside the circuit breaker itself. Why is the fault clearing time is significant? Number one, rapid fault clearing minimizes the damage in our equipment or in our power system. So as an example, during a short circuit test on bus powers, with a fault duration of 0.07 and this fault or the current or the fault the current or the short circuit current was 60 kilo ampere as an RMS value root mean square value or an effective value of 60 kilo ampere we found that no damage was observed after the testers so we had a fault or a short circuit current passing through our equipment or in our bus bar for a time equal to 0.07, we allow the short circuit to pass for this time. During this time, we started our um, relay, then our circuit breaker, and in the end, we interrupted the uh, fault or cleared the fault after 0.07 second. So with a 60 kilo ampere, no damage was occurred or was observed after the test. But however, when we allow the fault duration of seven seconds, when we allow this 60 kilo ampere for uh, seven seconds through the bus bar, what happened? The bus bars were completely destroyed. 
So we'll find that from 0.07 second, no damage occurred to the pass bars. But when we allow the 60 kilo ampere for 7 seconds, the pass bars were completely destroyed. So what does this mean? It means that we should clear the fault as soon as possible to prevent the damage inside our equipment. So rapid fault clearing improves the power system stability. For the reason that slow relays and slow circuit breakers, this slow types should not be preferred for protection where stability is important because slow relays and slow circuit breakers will take some time to operate. So in the uh, points or in the zones in our power system which is very important or the stability is important we should not use slow relays we should use fast acting relays and fast circuit breakers this applies to for example the protection of extra high voltage transmission lines protection of larger machines like generators large transformers larger motors and the protection in important stations all of this equipment or this component in our power system are very important and very expensive so we have to use fast relays and fast circuit breakers to clear the fault as soon as possible because they are very important components and expensive in our system so fast relays and fast circuit breakers should be used so though fast fault clearing is desirable time lag is proportionally provided in so uh, sometimes or most of the cases we say that fault clearing time is important and it should be or we should clear our fault in very fast or in very short time however we should provide some time lag inside our uh, protection device why because uh, we have number one to permit that discrimination between the main and backup protection to allow the discrimination between them so what i mean by this remember the time grading case in the time grading uh, protection we said that the first one had an 0.1 second let's draw it to uh, memorize this remember that in the power system protection like this okay so at this time this region had a time of 0.1 second okay 0.1 second but the other zone the second one which is in the time grading was for example uh, 0.7 or 0.5 whatever and this one was one second for example so we'll find that here there is a time lagging between them between this one between this one and this one all of them there is a time difference between them a lag between them why in order to allow the discrimination between the main protection or the primary protection and the backup protection so the primary when a fault occur we should start operating after 0.1 second and if the fault uh, if this, this protection device did not uh, clear the fault then we will use the uh, backup protection from the second line of 0.7 second so we'll find that there is a time lag between them to allow discrimination another thing is that why is the time 0.1 second why it cannot be very small time as we will see that the time of the relay and the time of circuit breakers is few cycles so why do we provide a time of 0.1 second why it is not lower another thing is that to prevent the operation of the relay during the transients the starting currents and the permissible load fluctuations and etc so what does this mean it means that during the transient or that switching actions for example in power system when we are adding loads removing loads connecting them or uh, disconnecting transmission lines then you will find that here we have a transient case inside our uh, power system so the voltage and the current fluctuates or uh, its value changes during this time so in this case we should prevent our relay from operating during this transient because it is not a faulty case also we should not operate the relay 
during the starting currents of the induction motors for example at for the induction motor at starting the current is very high so this uh, is expected or according to the relay it senses it as a fault because the current is high or greater than its allowable load uh, current but in order to prevent the relay from operating during starting we will provide time lag for the relay or provide a small time at which after which the starting current vanishes so we provide a small time to prevent the operation of the relay during the starting uh, of the induction motor for example also the permissible load fluctuations we should the load sometimes it can increase or decrease which can be sensed for the relay as an overloading or an overcurrent so we should provide a time lag in order to make sure that the relay understands that a fault occurs not a transient or not a starting current and not a permissible load fluctuations the relay time of the fast relays what is the time of it is in the order of a few cycles and the inverse time relays can be adjusted between 6 seconds to 60 seconds the inverse time relay we will discuss them in the next lecture in the next lecture we will discuss the relay what's the meaning of the relay and the different types of the relay so between them the inverse time relay which we can change its time according to the value of the short circuit current it can be from 6 second to 6 second for example and the fast relays is in the order of a few cycles one cycle means one over the frequency for example if it is the frequency is 50 hertz then one cycle means one over 50 second if it is 60 hertz then one over 60 second the circuit breaker time to uh, slow circuit breakers is the order of five cycles five cycles for the slow circuit breakers and for the fast circuit breakers is in the order of two cycles to three cycles so we'll find that faster relays few cycles circuit breakers fast circuit breakers from two to three cycles so we'll see that we can provide a very small current or very very uh, trip time uh, current in order to protect our important equipment such as of course the extra high voltage transmission lines generators motors and etc so the final thing what is the difference between the meaning of a protective system and a protective scheme the protection schemes consisting of a group of protective systems the protection scheme is named according to the protected equipment let's have an example number one the generator protection this is called a scheme why because it protects a certain equipment here which is the generator so generator protection means a protection scheme for the generator itself another thing transformer protection this is called a scheme a protection scheme so transformer the uh, equipment protection so transformer protection is a scheme another thing extra high voltage uh, transmission lines protection this is called a protection scheme because equipment plus the name protection equipment protection is a protection scheme and the protection scheme is consisting of a group of protection system so what is the meaning of the protection system the protective system or uh, simply protection is named according to the principle of operation or the abnormal condition occurring in our system what i mean by this number one the overcurrent protection is called a protection system because why because it the abnormal condition here is the overcurrent occurrence an overcurrent or excess current occurs so it is called abnormal condition therefore it's called a protection system the air fault protection and air fault is called abnormal condition under voltage the decrease in the voltage below a certain level is called abnormal condition so under voltage protection is called a protection system the under frequency 
The differential protection is a principle of operation against the internal faults inside the generators, transformer, and etc. The distance protection, this is called a principle of operation and this type is also a protection system. So for example, the generator protection, which is a protection scheme consisting of a protective system, a group of protection systems such as overcurrent protection, earth fault protection, under voltage, under frequency, differential protection. So all of this system can be used for the protection of the generator or transformer. So here the name generator protection is the scheme itself, but the group of the systems is the protection system used inside this scheme. So in this video, we discussed the uh, fault clearing time and its importance uh, and the importance of having time lag in our power system and the difference between the protection system and the protection scheme. In the next video, we'll start discussing the uh, relay and its types. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it and learn it from it. Now I would like to invite you to my academy, Khadiga Academy. You will find the link for the academy in the description for this video. You can find there useful uh, courses, free and paid courses, which will help you as an electrical engineer. So check it out if you would like to learn more about it. Thank you.